Hello, in this video we're going to look at perfect competition doing somewhat of a challenging problem. The market demand in a perfectly competitive market is given by Q equals 2000 minus 100 P. There are 40 firms in this competitive market, each with a production function given by the following. Lowercase Q is the individual firm's quantity of output. L is units of labor. The going market wage is $20 per unit of labor, and each firm has $100 of fixed cost. What is the equilibrium price and quantity in this market? How much output does an individual firm produce? And what is the firm's profit level? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve for the firm's supply equation, the individual firm's supply equation. We're going to start with the individual firm's production function here, and we're going to solve this for L, units of labor. So dividing through by 10, so squaring both sides, we have this expression. And now we're going to form the firm's cost function. The firm's total cost of production is variable cost plus fixed cost. Fixed cost we set is 100, and variable cost here is going to be W times L, where W is the $20 that the firm pays to hire each unit of labor, and L is going to be this Q squared divided by 100. So making our substitutions, and now simplifying this a little bit here, we have the firm's total cost of production. So once again, the firm's total cost of production. We're now going to get marginal cost, taking the derivative of this equation. So we get 2Q divided by 5 for the marginal cost. Next thing is that in perfect competition, price equals marginal cost. So I'm going to replace MC with P. And now we're going to solve this for Q. And that is the individual firm supply equation. Q equals 2.5P. Now we're going to get the market supply equation. To get the market supply equation, the market supply, quantity supplied Q, is going to equal the number of firms in the market multiplied by the individual firm supply equation. We said that there are 40 firms in this market, so the number of firms is 40. The firm supply here is this lowercase q, and now we're going to replace this lowercase q with 2.5p, making that substitution, and now simplifying we have this market supply equation. Now we're ready to solve for equilibrium in this market. We're going to set the uh, market supply equal to the market demand equation. So quantity demanded equals quantity supplied. There's the uh, quantity demanded, and here's the quantity supplied. And simplifying, the equilibrium price is $10. To get the equilibrium quantity, we're going to take this $10 and plug it back into the supply equation or we could take this $10 and plug it back into the demand equation. Either way, if we did our math right, we're going to see that the equilibrium quantity is 1,000. So here you see I plug this $10 back into the supply equation. The units of output of an individual firm in this market. So we have the individual firm supply equation, and we found that the equilibrium price is $10. So that implies that each firm will produce 25 units. Another way of backing into this answer is we could take the equilibrium output in this market, which we found is 1,000, and divide it by the number of firms in this market, which we said is 40. It's another way of backing into how much output the individual firm will produce in this market. Each one will produce 25 units. And then the profit of the individual firm. Profit is revenue minus cost where revenue is price times quantity, and we're just going to substitute in here our cost equation that we solved for, found earlier. And now plugging in our values, the price is $10. The individual firm produces 25 units. So simplifying this, the individual firm will make $25 a profit. Okay, that's it.